did not expect to see an owl today. My day's made. Hey there, welcome back to Newfound Dreamer. I am getting a little tired of my typical talking head videos and we all know that I am all about improving my skills. So today I am going to try vlogging for the first time. And I am so excited because Rob and I are going on an adventure that we have been talking about for a couple of years now. And we are going to kayak down Little Barishwa River. So we are currently on Little Barishwa. Well, we're currently in Barishwa Pond. Uh, we left from Barishwa Pond Provincial Park, which is one of my favorite provincial parks in Newfoundland. It is so beautiful here. And if you are in Newfoundland and want to have an awesome camping experience, highly recommend Barishwa Pond Provincial Park. I just find it so tranquil and peaceful here. Oh, I love it so much. It's one of my happy places for sure. I worked all throughout the pandemic and I am currently finalizing up year end which if you're not an accountant means it's one of the busiest times of the year. And the chain of hardware stores that I work for is actually pretty busy as well and it has been for most of the pandemic. So I decided to take the day off work, get out, relax, do an adventure, recharge my batteries, and yeah, I just think going on adventures, whether it's hiking, kayaking, getting out in nature is a great form of self-care. Self-care is not just face masks and you know sitting in a comfy chair with a good book. It can be anything that is great for your mental, physical, and emotional health and well-being. And for me, nature is uh, an amazing form of self-care. Breathing in the fresh air, getting to see beautiful scenery. There's nothing else like it. So today we are going on a kayaking adventure. Should be about four, five hours long-ish. Never done this, wanted to do this for a long time. We just never really got the window of opportunity and Rob is about to head out back offshore soon. This weekend is not supposed to be great weather. So, you know, take a vacation day midweek, why not? It is absolutely beautiful and we are only on the start of the kayaking adventure. And here comes Rob now. So we are about an hour into our kayaking adventure so far and we've done approximately 3.5 kilometers. It's been a beautiful paddle so far. I got stuck on a few rocks uh, several times. <laughs> so that's that's been fun. It's a real workout in places but thankfully the river's current is helping push us along. So we won't be paddling for four hours straight but it's still a very, very nice paddle. Very beautiful scenery. Oh, the that country in Newfoundland is absolutely stunning. Like it, it is beautiful. The unfortunate thing is, is there's a lot of flies. We do have some natural fly repellent, which is kind of doing the job, but you have to apply it uh, frequently. I soon have to reapply my sunscreen as well because we're about an hour in. I have gotten some water on me when I was trying to get out of my, when I was trying to get off the rocks that I've been stuck on. Uh, so it might be time to reapply some sunscreen because I turn red. I don't. I don't tan. I would rather not turn turn blood red. It's not good for you anyway. I want to have nice, healthy skin. So I am soon going to reapply my sunscreen and get going. Well, it's been a long time, but Melissa finally got to see. One of her favorite animals, and she's probably not going to want to lead the river now. Let's see if we can see her. There's Melissa. Right there. You see no who? So Rob and I just stopped at this beach along the river to do some fly fishing, or more so, Rob's doing some fly fishing. I'm sitting down chatting with you, enjoying this beautiful weather, but we just seen an owl. Like, how freaking cool is that? We were I, we were coming through the little area of rapids. I don't think I was taking any video at that point in time, but I seen this bird flying away, and I was singing at the rock because I was like, is it a hawk? 
wasn't expecting an owl. I knew it wasn't an eagle because it wasn't the correct colors. But then when I looked up in the treetops, there was an owl perched in the treetop. Like, was not expecting that. It was so freaking cool though. It was so amazing. <sighs> I've been wanting to see an owl in the wild for a long time. I love owls. I think they are, they are incredible creatures. But did not expect to see it today. Like, in the back of my mind, I'd be like, it's cool if we ever see an owl when we're out on our adventures. But when I told Rob the animals that I would like to see today, I had moose, caribou, a beaver, and I'd like to see some salmon jumping. So far we've seen trout jumping, which is pretty cool because there's a bunch of, a school of little tiny trout, like baby trout, and they were jumping. That was pretty amazing. But then we seen an owl. Actually, I think the salmon jumping wasn't on the list. I think I told him I wanted to see an eagle. Yeah, it was an eagle. A moose, an eagle, caribou, and a beaver. We've seen beaver dams, dens? No, it wasn't a dam because beaver dams off the river. We've seen a beaver den. No beaver. We've seen care or moose tracks. No moose. But we've seen an owl. Like so freaking exciting. We've seen an owl. We've seen a who. We've seen a who in the wild. I have never ever expected to see a who. Like. I tried taking some pictures. I know I handed over the ca camera to Rob when I got near him so that Rob could take pictures because Rob is a better photographer. I took a few pictures with my camera, but you could only really see his silhouette because he was in the sunshine. He could have been a she. I don't know, but it was an owl and it was incredible. And like my day, my day is made, my week's made, my month, maybe even my year. <laughs> Friends reference, you know, gotta throw it in there, but yeah. That made my day. Now, I would also like to see a moose, but I'm not gonna push my luck. I seen an owl. I didn't expect to see an owl. That was freaking incredible. <sighs> it's been amazing. It's an amazing day so far. I'm so happy I took the day off of work. <gasps> oh, oh, truly, truly blown away. Did not expect to see an owl today. My day's made. I hope I have something else cool to share because that just topped it. That, uh, I don't know how my day could get much better than that. Sorry if the audio is not that great or the video actually, because I have switched to my phone. <laughs> uh, we just had a little incident where that camera got a little bit wet, but I think it's fine. I dried it off pretty quickly. Rob was going through a little bit of a rapid, got pinned under a tree, got a lot of water into the kayak, jumped out, kind of took care of the camera before chasing after his kayak, which was then floating down the river, but he got it got all the water out of it. Oh, I got a bigger fright than what Rob did. I was panicking, shaking, hence no video footage. But it's all good, we're back in our kayaks. He just brushed it off like it was nothing. And um, now we are continuing to kayak down the river. And it's amazing how different things look when the water levels, levels are higher because a year or two ago, we were actually salmon fishing in this area and I didn't recognize it. Rob had to point it out to me, but all in all, still a great kayaking adventure so far. I'm still amazed that I seen an owl. Like, I don't know if I'll ever get over that. That was incredible. Okay guys, there's a moose. A mama moose and a baby moose ahead of us in the water, which is so cool. You might not be able to see if it's too far away. We may or may not have broke a camera, but you don't want to come between a mama and a baby moose. So we are keeping our distance in hopes that they head back out into the woods. But, oh my God, this is amazing. An owl, a mama moose, and a baby moose. So Rob and I just stopped on the river for a snack and some water. We've done about 13 kilometers so far. Uh, it's been a great day. We've seen an owl, we've seen some moose, we've seen some trout jump. So all in all, it's been pretty cool adventures so far. We're almost to the highway right now, but we still have a little ways to go. And this is actually the area that I've been to before, not up above. We've been salmon fishing here before, but this whole 
trip down the river has been pretty cool. We actually seen a tent up above, some areas where I guess people have set up for hunting. But I'm blown away. It's been an incredible day. We're actually filming this on a camera or on a phone right now because we had a little mishap with our camera, hoping to get it working when we get back home. But if not, my next couple of videos may be recorded on a camera or on a cell phone, which is not so bad until I get my new one. I guess I'm going to upgrade a little sooner than I expected. I was hoping to upgrade within the next few months, so it's just happening a little bit quicker. So this is where our kayaking adventure ends. We did about 18 kilometers. It took us about four hours of paddle time and we did stop along the way for our supply fishing and some snacks. We seen an owl, we seen two moose. All in all, it was a great day. I can't wait to bring you along on more adventures in the future. Rob and I are just waiting for his dad to come pick us up now and then we're going to go get Hallie and then we're going to head to Stephenville to go to Domino's Pizza House to get a chicken club sub and I'm so excited. I feel like I worked very hard the past four hours and I earned that sub. But that is all for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button because it helps support my channel. And remember to do one thing today that will help you create the life of your dreams. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Thursday in my next video. Yes, I hoot at him like, ooh, ooh. Freaking exciting. We seen an owl. We seen a who. We seen a who in the wild. I have never ever expected to see a who.